Hey guys, what's up? I know I didn't make a video last week and I apologize for that, but um, I don't want it to show my email address, so I'm just going to say yes, I'm in. But um, I figured I'd make a video on the Moto X for you guys. I don't even know if you guys know that I bought a Moto X, but my friend, he bought a OnePlus One, so he sold me his Moto X at a pretty good deal, a little bit less than $200, and I figured why not, I'll buy it, you know, make a few videos on it. So if you guys want to see anything, I didn't make a rooting video. I apologize for that, but I did root it. You see, I'm running Science and Mod 12, the official night lease. Um, it doesn't matter if it's official or unofficial. Honestly, they doesn't matter at all. Both ROMs work best. I mean, no differences besides the official night lease. I guess they have the update thing in the settings, which I can't get to work also because I don't know. It's kind of retarded, but. It is an early build. I am on the 115, but see, I check daily. There's no, well, <laughs> I use my G3 as a Wi-Fi hotspot, so that's probably why there's no data connection, but I use this phone as a Wi-Fi only device. I love the stock because this phone would just sit on my desk in the morning, and I'd be like, okay, Google now, and I'd be like, what's new? And then it reads me out all of my notifications while I'm getting ready for work. And I can be like, okay, Google, respond to them, you know, do this, do that. All without having to actually pick up my phone until I'm done getting ready for work and about to leave. And, I mean, I use this phone for, you know, Spotify, of course. I connect this to my Geneva Model S speaker. I don't know if you guys even know what that is, but it's a pretty decent little speaker. That thing it kicks. But, yeah, I use this for Spotify. If this is in my kitchen and I'm in my living room... Or, I mean, if this is in my kitchen where I am and my G3, which is my main device, is on my desk in my bedroom, I can use Hangouts to answer the phone call instead of having to walk to my room. I know it's kind of lazy, but, I mean, if you wanted to do that, you could. I'd use Hangouts Dialer and Hangouts and, yeah, you know. Honestly, the camera on this sucks, so I'm not even going to talk about the camera. It's the same as stock. So if you open up the camera app, it's, you know, it's the same as stock. It, it sucks. I'm sorry. Compared to my G3, it does. Um, what I think is cool about CyanogenMod Mod is that I was charging this phone earlier, and the LED there's a green one hiding behind the speaker. So I thought that was pretty awesome. So I brought out my little portable charger to see if I could actually show you guys that. Um, oh, it's not gonna. Does, I guess it only turns on when it's full, or I get a new email or something. I didn't see it blinking for emails, but I see it for when my batteries are like 100%. Sadly, I'm only at 98, but, you know. Yeah, so there's that. I'm sorry. I tried to show you guys, but it is pretty cool because it, it is completely centered on the entire top, and it, it you know, why not? Because I didn't even think this phone had a little LED light on it because, you know, it has that motion active display or whatever it's called. But, um... For signage mod features, swipe that away, new one piece, woo woo. But for signage mod features, you see you got the weather and the status bar. If we go into settings, you have status bar settings, you have the quick pull down on the right side. Um, brightness control when you slide your finger. You can show the notification count, so if I had more than one email, there'd be a little number next to it. The weather, you can change your battery, and yeah, that's pretty much it for signage mod features at the current moment. They are implementing more, and I will update this video when they actually put, you know, more features. Like, they have the interface and everything for the lock screen, you know. For buttons, yeah, like I said, not much. You can use the volume keys to control the cursor on the keyboard. But other than that, you don't even have, a, like, the guest stuff or something. I forgot what it was called. You have performance, but you can't really overclock this at all. So, it's really no point. I find it funny that it comes with a music player. Here it is. It comes with a stock music player. I have not seen one of these in so long. I don't have any music on this phone, of course. I use Spotify, but yeah. I found that funny. I don't I don't know why. I just thought it was. Um comes with audio FX, the CM file manager, and I installed these other apps, so yeah. But that's pretty much it. I mean, if I missed anything, which I don't really think I did, but if I did, just leave a comment below. If you guys want to know anything, 
I'll respond to you in the comments. And also, yeah, I will be updating this video, like I said, when they add more features. So maybe I'll do like a weekly thing for the Moto X. But still, my main phone is the LG G3. Because, you know, the screen size is... Yeah, it should talk for itself. The brightness is lower on the G3, but... You know, save battery or whatnot. But I am getting a zero lemon battery, so I will be doing a video on that. And I'm probably going to make a fun little video on this little speaker thing that I bought at a dollar store. Because, why not? But other than that, I... We'll see you guys in the next video. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see anything else, please leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.